We welcome you back to the Mount Pearl Glacier next to the host city of St. John's here in Newfoundland and Labrador in the eastern tip of North America. The host city for the 2018 ISPHF World Ball Hockey Championships. This is our second game of the day here in the main rink at the Glacier. Should be a dandy, folks. It's the Czech Republic to take on the United States. This is a game in the under 20. You weren't with us earlier. The World Juniors consist of two divisions, the under 20 and the under 18. Earlier this morning in the under 18s, Canada defeated Switzerland by a score of six to two. This Czech team comes highly rated. They are coming off a victory in the Pilsen Cup in the Czech Republic just recently. And that is a senior men's tournament. They competed as the national under 20 squad and came away with the championship, defeating division one men's teams over in the Czech Republic. So they are highly touted, very good. Of course, the United States expected to be very competitive as well. Or you just had a look at the Czech Republic down to our left and then down to our right, the United States. Starting in goal for the U.S. with those distinctive pads, number 65, William Fitzgerald. Teams will play three 15-minute periods. We'll take a five-minute intermission between each period. And in goal for the Czech Republic, start things off number one, Beat Chapek. All right, we're set to get underway here at the Glacier. Game number two, five games in our schedule on the webcast today. Other games being played at the secondary rink here at the Glacier. Those are also webcast without commentary. As I said earlier, you can decide after watching both which you prefer. Ball went out of play. Face off will be just outside the Czech blue line. My name is George Scott. Pleased to be doing yet another international event for the ISBHF. Had a chance to be in the Czech Republic just over a year ago for the men's and women's championships and in Zug, Switzerland in 2015. And the Czech Republic with the ball. Geba, a pass misfired all the way down to Fitzgerald, plays it into the corner. U.S. come up with it, don't get it out. Kept in by the Czechs, the ball went off a stick, and once again, out of play, right down below us. Face off will come just outside the U.S. blue line. Face off was won by Adam Kubik. And a series of whistles to start this game. Ball going out of play quite a bit. We didn't see much of that at all in our opening game. States win, or Czechs win the faceoff. Kubik up ahead. Tried to make the pass here on the right side to Stefka. It was kept in by Vanderlick. The shot was knocked down in front. Back of the point, long shot save was made off the stick of Havel Sloop. And again, check stay on it. Stefka. Ball comes loose, states are on it. 
McNamee gets it in over the blue line, then lost it, counterattacking, come to checks. Begins to pick up a bit of pace, Moravitz. Ball comes here into the near corner. Crawl busting out in front, cleared away, back into the corner. Checks with good pressure on this shift. Sikora with a shot and Fitzgerald sprawls out, makes the save. Very good shift for the Czech Republic that time. Had the Americans pinned in their own end. And shots on goal. 3-0 right now in favor of the Czech Republic. Both teams will change up after a lengthy shift. Faceoff was won cleanly by Brian Grant of the U.S. And he'll try and play it off the boards to Grant, but angle wasn't quite right. It was all the way down the floor. We'll come back down to our right. And the checks are on it. Malina threw it through the crease. Kept in on the far side by Klaus. Klaus shot wide of the goal. Malina tried to feed for Bruba. For Bruba's with it again. That shot right on goal. Save made by Fitzgerald. Good quick shot off the stick of Tomasz Meyer. And teams will change. Fitzgerald just got a stick on that shot from the point. Following up on it is Prano. Back behind the goal, throw it out in front. Shot scores! Yuri Haraber. Yuri Haraber. Makes it one nothing. Czech Republic. Give them credit. They have controlled the play here early in this first period and lead it one to nothing. It's their fifth shot on goal. None yet for the U.S. So far, the Czech under-20 team coming as advertised. Talked to a lot of people around the arena this morning about this Czech team and big things are expected. Now the U.S. trying to get something going. Bryce Lang. Knocked down and Czechs come back out. They'll dump it right on goal. Fitzgerald will hold on to it. He'll get a face off in his own end. There's a Bruce Lang. Bruce Long my own printing. Buckman to face off against Kubik. Taken by the U.S. Sean Dowdy lost it at the blue line. Played out by Altman. Altman follows up on it. Gets it over to Long. Long bats it out of the air. Sends it in deep. Chopic out to play it. Kept in. Long shot. Didn't get through. That was Myers from the right point for the U.S. Dowdy along the boards. Checks come up with it. Quick pass up ahead. Kubik. Kubik working into the slot. Altman forced him wide. Thrown behind the goal. Kubik's on it again. This is Sikora. 20. Sikora. Back of the point. That was Kubik. 
His shot wide. More pressure now by the Czechs. Vapil. Out in front, all alone, shot saved. Rebound. They score. Shimon Moravets stopped on the first attempt. Got his own rebound and showed great patience to wait and gets it past Fitzgerald and also the U.S. defender who was lying in the goal trying to help out his goalkeeper. Took a little second to see that the ball had gotten behind the defender. But it is Moravets to make it two to nothing here early in this first period. Less than five minutes gone. Araba and Moravitz, the goal scorers. Trying to bust in was Molina. States get it up ahead. Kolb. Kolb is knocked down. States calling for a penalty. Referee waves it off. Back at the point shot. Right on that save made by Chappie. There's Marchese. That's a good shot from the point for the U.S. Cleared in, Molina, it'll go right to Fitzgerald, he'll cover it up. The U.S. get the first couple of shots, or get uh, their second shot of the game on Chappie. Who handled that point shot by Marchese. Face off to the left of Fitzgerald. One by the U.S., but kept in, but then lost at center by the Czechs. And Robert having a little bit of trouble, but comes away with it. Good pass on the left side. Shot on goal. Fitzgerald will take it off the chest and then cover it up. Play on that left side by Joseph Shimunek of the Czech Republic. Again, they win the faceoff. They'll set up. Poked away in a nice play by James Ryder. Kept in, long shot on goal. No trouble there for Chappie. That pass misfires. That'll be a flooring call against the Czech Republic. Anderlich had a man on his left. Was trying to feed him and just a little too much mustard on it. Not happy with himself with that pass. In ring two this morning in an under 18 matchup. Slovakia defeated Great Britain three to nothing, which is really quite a good result for Great Britain. They did not come into this tournament with great expectations and the Slovaks certainly gold medal aspirations and Great Britain gave them all they could handle. Over on rink two this morning. Quite a few American fans here in the stands this morning. I'm told that over a hundred family and friends made the trip here to Newfoundland in Canada to watch the under 20s and the under 18s. The Torres shot was blocked by Myers and they'll battle along the boards, cleared away by the U.S. Will it be enough for flooring? Yes, just barely. The Czech player was trying to catch up to it. A 
They're just across the goal line, so face off back in the U.S. end again. Meyer to take the face off for the Czechs. Checks able to keep it in. That ricochets around and goes wide. Collision to the side of the goal. Now Casey battling, but the Czechs come up with it again. Winning those battles along the boards. Finally taken away by Nath. Up ahead, here's a breakout chance. Shot, scores! Gordy Kolb with a quick response for the U.S. All the play has been down to our right, but the quick breakout found himself in behind everybody. And Kolb has got the U.S. back in this one now, trailing by just one goal. Ball was bouncing around at center, it was poked free. And Kolb was in behind everybody, beats Chappick high, blocker side. Right back in this one. Up ahead, offside at the blue line. Bonio in ahead of the play a little bit. We're gonna bring this one all the way back just outside the Czech Republic blue line. Giba for the Czech Republic. Harold Giba. Zaid Czech stopped at the blue line. Turning back is Myers Albert. Miles Albert rather, for US. Bergeron got it up to Ryder who played it in. Behind his goal is Haraba. Gave it away. At the blue line, and the shot goes wide. Nicholas Cataldo intercepted that pass for the States. Had a chance. Now back on the checks. Franjo, save made by Fitzgerald. Franjo. Down into the corner. Knocked away. The checks stay on it. They check. Franjo. Turns, fires, good shot on goal. Good job by Tavish DeHorsey of the United States to clear traffic in front of goaltender Fitzgerald to allow him to make that save. Jacks were trying to set up the screen. DeHorsey cleared the lane in front of his goalkeeper. Kubik to face off against Cataldo. U.S. won it, but it's kept in by the Czechs. Thrown across, big save made by Fitzgerald. Great play by Stefka as he made that pass across, but an even better save by Fitzgerald. Now the States looking to a response. Shot was blocked out in front. Finally, the Czechs come away. Things open up a little bit here now. Stefka. Easy shot on goal by Prokep. And the ball goes into the United States players bench. Faces, face off is going to stay deep in the U.S. end. Next game very close to making it three to one. Great play by Stefka on the right side. Held it, held it, then made the pass across. I believe it was Prokep. And Fitzgerald just sprawled out. Somehow kept it out.
That shot did not get through. Kubik with a shot, save is made. Fitzgerald's got it. Sikora, 20, not 21 for the Czech Republic. Faceoff was won by Buckman of the U.S. But again, the Czechs are on it right away. Dolezal behind the goal. Czechs controlling it deep along the boards. Crawl, Crawl doing all the work right now and flips it out in front. Crawl almost got himself free. Out at the blue line, Buchanan didn't see it. He was watching his man at the point, didn't see the ball, went right between his feet. Finally, the U.S. come up with it. Flip it down the floor, back to get it. Vapel. Vapel, watched by Dowdy. Vapel will stop up behind his goal. Checks will change. They'll hold it right there till they complete their line change. Just over four minutes left to go in the opening period. 2-1. Czech Republic lead it. They'll keep it in. Malina. Myers on him. Malina leaves it in the corner. On it there is Bergeron. Off the glass, down the floor, hustling back. Paul Bruba gets it out for the Czechs and pushed a little further by Kral. Meyer turning. Shot went wide, came off the end boards, out in front. Hard shot. And it's a, it's a goal. It took a moment for the official indicator. It looked like it may have gone off the crossbar. The Czechs reacted immediately. I waited for the referee's point. Marcel Molina makes it three to one. That one in and out so fast. Tough to tell from here whether it had gone in or off the crossbar. And again, it took a few seconds for the referee to point to the back of the goal. The Czechs knew right away it was in. They were celebrating over here by the boards. Coming back, looking for more. U.S. having trouble clearing it. Ronio trying to get it out in front. Fitzgerald cut him off at the pass. Held in by Haraba. Again in front. Checks getting all the loose balls. Backhand, save made by Fitzgerald. No! Looked like he had it, but it goes between the arm and the body. Trickles into the back of the goal. So another bit of a delayed reaction. Looked like Fitzgerald had it, but somehow the ball squeezed, as I said, between his right arm, his body, and then just fell behind him into the goal, and things coming apart right now for the U.S. They trail at 4-1. They're being outshot 15-4. Checks are making it look easy. They're just coming up with all the loose balls. They're quicker off the mark. Stefka, got it into Kubik, 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 trying to cut into the middle. Long is there, again, loose ball, who gets it? The Czechs, nifty little play. Altman up ahead, Bergeron couldn't handle it. Pavel Sloop, penalty, no, delayed offside, my mistake. Hard shot off the goal post. Stefka just missed. Into the slot, throw it into the crease, it rattles around, goes over into the corner. Stefka comes up with it for the checks. And Stefka is going to get a penalty. 
cross checking will be the call. He was headed over this way here at the glacier. The benches and the, the two benches and the penalty box are on the same side. Most arenas these days have the players benches on one side and the penalty box timekeeper on the opposing side of the ring. All over on the far side here and all the stands for the fan sitter here on the near side there. It's not seats all the way around. It's just on the one side. That's why you're not seeing fans in the stands. They're all here on the same side as the camera. So the U.S. on a power play, trailing it three to one. I'm sorry, four to one. Shot on goal, save made by Chappick. Another shot, that rang off the goal post. Beat the goaltender cleanly on the glove side, but couldn't beat that right goal post. And the Czechs come up with it shorthanded. Crawl, crawl, waiting, looking for some help. Ball comes right back to him, can't get the shot away. Myers against Crawl, Crawl comes up with it. Oh, holding it, doing great work killing this penalty. Hits it all the way back to Cyclic. Up to Crawl. And checks controlling play, shorthanded right now. Meyer trying to cut in front, long. Over to Kolb, Kolb with the lone goal for the U.S. here in the first period. Time winding down, under a minute to go now. McNamee couldn't handle that pass. 35 seconds to go in the penalty to the Czechs, and they'll clear it the length of the floor. Back to get it, Alec Myers. In over the blue line, he can get to it first, on it first, it's Carol Gaba. And again, easily cleared. Checks are changing, not allow the U.S. to bring it in, but just ahead of the play, Cataldo was in over the blue line before Long brought it in. And offside against the U.S. They had one good chance on this power play, rang it off the goalpost, but nothing since. Just five seconds left to go in the check penalty. 20.1 seconds left to go in the period. Chimunek, the face off for the checks. Bergeron, Bergeron rather trying to get down the left side in over the blue line. They got it in, dumped in while wide of the goal by Zach Kelly. Time winding down, just a couple of seconds left to go. That'll do it, first period comes to an end. Shots on goal, 15-6, favoring the Czechs. And they lead it by a score of four to one. Again, there'll be a five minute, five minute intermission. We will take a short break here on our webcast back with the second period of this game between the Czech Republic and the United States in the under 20 division. In just a few moments, you're watching the ISBHF World Junior Ball Hockey Championships from the Mount Pearl Glacier in Canada, home country for the 2018 World Juniors. Back with the second period in just a moment.
There you see the Czech Republic making their way over to their bench and uh, from the right, United States. Getting ready for this second period, a dominating performance by the Czechs in that opening period. They lead it four to one. And they really didn't give much opportunity for the US team to operate at all. The lone goal for the United States. Scored by Cordy Kolb on a breakaway. But no sustained pressure from the U.S. As we mentioned in that first period, just about all the loose balls, all the one-on-one -on -one battles being won by the Czechs. And they've got a pretty good lead after just 15 minutes. Second period just underway. The Czechs are back in there again. Backhand rattles around in front of Fitzgerald. And right away, we're going to get a penalty being called. Tripping. Well, things going from bad to worse right now for the United States. So checks will go on the power play. It'll be their first power play. Sean Doughty, number 11. Down to the box for tripping. So we'll see if the Czechs, who control the play a fair bit when they were shorthanded late in the first, now with the man advantage. Robert. Shot from the point right on goal. Save made by Fitzgerald. A good hard low shot by Pavel Sloop. Sloop has it again. A Robert. Robert allowed to walk right in, fires it. Too many bodies in front. Don't think it got through. Loop. Over on the right side. Cross Robert swing and a miss. He tried to one time it. Got the ball again back to Sloop. Robert. That shot. Good hard shot. Good save by Fitzgerald. That was headed for the. Short side, and she got his blocker on it. Both teams change up. No panic in the game of the Czech Republic at all. They take their time. The game seems to slow down around them. Take the face off against Grant. Grant wins it and can't clear it. Knocked down and kept in by Kubik. Stefka down into the corner. Back to Stefka. To Kubik. Shot blocked and cleared by the U.S. Under a minute to go now in the power play. Adam Kubik to Stefka. He's got it back. Kubik, Stefka. Kubik steps in a little bit. Vanderlich, Kubik, that deflected, changed direction and went wide. U.S. have it, heads up, that will go into the stands. Face off will stay back in the U.S. end. Now they're saying it went off a Czech player's stick, so the face off comes outside the blue line. 32 seconds left to go in the power play. Down the floor it goes. Chappick, catch it, leave it there for Kubik. Kubik over on the far side into the middle. They get it in over the blue line. Sikora back to Kubik. Three seconds to go in the power play. Pretty good penalty kill for the United States. A couple of good saves by Fitzgerald. A couple of good defensive plays. They blocked a couple of shots. And they've killed it off. Sikora in over the blue line. Offside just ahead of the play was Adam Kubik. 
on the left side. the boards working hard in there is more of it Altman oh, couldn't hold it in more of it back in his own end for the checks Delajal. right up through the middle breakaway pass right onto the stick of Zay check, but just in over the blue line offside. Great pass, deep in his own head, right from between the circles. Delajal made that pass up ahead to Zay check. Just a half a step offside. Hard shot. Chappie. Cuts down the angle, doesn't give up a rebound. Took it right in the chest, good positioning. Again, the U.S. win the faceoff. Just knocked down. Good play out at the blue line by Kelly. Down into the corner. Nataldo in there. Coming up with the loose ball, Albert. Holding the line to Horsey. Forcing the checks back. They'll take it all the way back behind their own goal. Back up, Vapil. Vapil. For Bruba. Up through the middle, trying to bust in. The Molina knocked off his stick. Checks come up with it, try and feed it out again for Molina. Can't get a shot away. Klaus. Up ahead, Shimanek drops it off. Franjo, Franjo with a shot. Fitzgerald got his block around it, and the ball goes up and out of play. Faceoff will stay in the U.S. end. Four and a half minutes gone here in the second period. No scoring in the second. All the scoring coming in the first period so far. 4-1. The Czechs lead it. Munich to take the face off for the checks against Albert. Uh, Grant that was 12, not 22. Franjo got it back to Shimonek. Shimonek still holding it down in the corner, threw it out in front, nobody home there. Taken off the boards by Ryder. Flipped down the floor, hustling back there. to Harbor. Harbor. Having a little look around, he likes to wait. Didn't like what he saw, waited for a little help and then made the pass over to Gaba. Out to Shimunik, his backhand. Comes to the near boards. On it quickly is Franjo. Behind the goal, Pro Kep. Plays it back to Harbor. On him was McNamee. Good play by McNamee. Two on one shaping up. Ryder, poke check. Couldn't get the shot away. Great defensive play. 
by Carol Gaba. Now up ahead. Had a chance to shoot it. it was Adam Kubik elected to pass it. Fitzgerald makes the save, stands up, holds on, no rebound. Play opens up just a little bit here in the last shift. And out. Checks will retreat. Misfired pass, but it worked. Wasn't where he meant to go with that. Now U.S. will bring it in over the blue line, off a stick, up and out of play. Face off will be to the right of Vee Chopek, the Czech goaltender. Moravets poke checked at center by Buckman up ahead. It's dumped in. One off the stick, no flooring. Checks her back. Sikora off the boards. Again, they'll have to retreat. Ball goes high in the air, knocking it down as Crawl. Crawl. Trying to get around the outside, Crawl. Watched over there by Ryan Nath. Crawl staying with it. That shot hit a couple of players in front of the goal. And cleared by the U.S. Vapel. All over him was Sean Doughty. But again, no panic by the Czech players. They move it out and get it up the floor. And then go to work in the offensive zone. Czechs are changing. They cycle the ball around, maintain possession. Turning, protecting the ball was Molina. Bruba. Shot did not get through on goal, but checks maintained possession. And through the crease came out the other side. Molina will play it in a little deeper. Altman plays it behind his goal. Checks will change. U.S. will get a change in as well. Nath goes off, replaced by Nicholas Cadaldo. Try the long breakaway pass, missed everybody. It'll be a flooring call against the United States. 6.26 to go in the second period. No scoring here in the second. Score remains four to one for the Czech Republic over the United States. Shimanuk took the face off himself. Got a shot on goal. The rebound was there and just batted out of the air wide. One of those plays where the centerman, Shimanuk, just pushed it forward and got it himself. And that way, a pretty good shot. Here come the checks again. Franjo. Shot came in from Shimanuk. Fitzgerald held it momentarily, but once again, not a piece of it, but not enough to hold it out. It's another goal for the Czech Republic. And a couple of those in this game. 
Chimunek. Did a lot of work on that. Five one now. Exactly six minutes left to play in the second. United States really with no offense in this game, just seven shots on goal. That's offside at the blue line. Their one goal came on a breakaway by Gordy Cole. A little in the way of any sustained pressure or ball possession by the U.S. in this one. Kubik, Prokep, back to Kubik, across, just tipped wide. <laughs> Boy, they're so quick to move the ball. It went from the center red line to the right post in what seemed like just a couple of seconds. Two quick passes, a great scoring chance. In behind the check goal, U.S. come up with it. McNamee trying to turn and get it out in front. And it's going to be a penalty beyond Dolezal. Holding, not much doubt about that one. McNamee did great work in behind the check goal. Got himself good body position on Dolezal. Dolezal just put the bear hug on him. Tackled him from behind. Second power play of the game for the United States. Last time they had the man advantage, they rang one off the goalpost, cleanly beating the goaltender, but not the post. That was their only scoring chance of that power play. Let's see what they do here. Working his way into the slot, then back at the point. This is the captain, Myers, long shot, looking for the deflection. States maintain possession. Buckman. Difficult pass, got through. Dangerous one, though. Myers, Buckman, shoots, blocked, nicely blocked by Meyer. Buckman, Kolb, back down to Buckman. Buckman having a look around, tried to feed Kolb. That pass didn't quite work. Long has got it over in the fireboards. Long, back to Myers. Down to the side of the goal, tipped wide. Good play to Cataldo. Couldn't get it on goal, and the Czechs come up with it and clear it down the floor. Under a minute to go in the power play now for the United States. Myers. Grant couldn't handle the pass, he's saying he didn't touch it at all, so it'll be a flooring call against the U.S. Nice play a moment ago, they got it into Cataldo at the left post, and his redirection just missed. They threw it around nicely. Under four to play in the second. Force back is Bergeron. Gets it to Buckman. Just in over the blue line to try and get it to Grant. Knocked off his stick. Caraba. Kept in, good play 
Buckman broke his stick as Frano got in front. Bergeron, good pass. McNamee, shot. It's loose in the crease, off the goal post. Once again, the States hit the post. Great backhand, again they beat the goalkeeper, but not the goalkeeper's friend. Long shot deflected, goes wide. Penalty is over, it's five on five. That hit the outside of the goal. The referee's feet, he's gotta get out of the way. Grant, good shift here for the US. Net is knocked loose as players crash into it from behind. Tremendous opportunity there for the US, couldn't convert. Score remains 5-1. May have been the United States' best shift of the game. Just as the period, or as the penalty rather ended. Stefka up ahead. Knocked down at the blue line. Altman has it. Altman. Just dump it in, but getting him behind the check defense momentarily. Now he's got it, a shot, save. Kolb had a good chance there. Nice little pass over the top of the check defense. Didn't look like Kolb was gonna be able to get to it. Eventually did, and got away a good shot. Kolb reaching for it again. He's got the US, United States only goal. Back in the first period. That would have set up a two on one, but beyond the reach of the Czech player, it'll be a flooring call against the Czech Republic. Under two to play here in the second. 4-1, the Czech Republic at the end of the first, they've added one here in the second. It's been a better period for the United States. Win the faceoff, but can't hold it in. Myers back to get it. Myers, a nifty little move to beat the four check. Got it, clears it in. Chappick out to play. Gets it up along the boards. Evapel brings it in over the blue line. Shot. Save made by Fitzgerald. The ball goes up and out of play. Faceoff will be to the left of Fitzgerald. Ball is loose, shot came in, didn't get through. Hit some bodies in front. Ball goes high in the air and batted away. Takes come up with it. Got a minute to go now here in the second. Oh yeah, it's a little hip check. Got away with one there. The Czechs come back. Buckman doing good work. He's had a good period for the U.S. That has been their best player. Bryce Long down into the corner. Time winding down. 35 seconds to go. Referee's whistle goes. Arm in the air and he's calling a penalty. Slashing. Go against the Czech Republic. Jakub Bobruba down for slashing. 
Chance for the United States to have a little momentum going into the third period. We've got 34 seconds to work with here at the end of the second, but the faceoff is won by the Czechs. And here they come, two on one, shorthanded. Pass across, good save by Fitzgerald, one of his better. Raycheck had to hold up at the blue line to stay on side and still got in and got away a good shot. The Czechs controlling it here shorthanded, but then they turn it over. 10 seconds to go. They lose it at the blue line. Myers has it. Myers, crowd yelling at him to shoot because time is running out. And there goes the buzzer. <laughs> Great shorthanded opportunity for the Czech Republic there. The two on one. Zajacek was set up on the left side, got away a good shot. Fitzgerald read it well, came out and made the save. All right, we've got 30 minutes done here in Mount Pearl at the Glacier. Czech Republic with a comfortable lead right now, leading it five to one. Take a five minute break, then we'll be back with the third period. You're watching the 2018 ISBHF World Junior Championships from the Mount Pearl Glacier in Newfoundland, in Canada, in North America. We can keep going. We're here on planet Earth, somewhere. Steve Power, president of the Canadian Ball Hockey Association, is looking at me like, what did you just say? All right, we'll be back in five minutes for the third period.
Third period underway. Penalty late in the second for the Czech Republic carrying over here into the third. So United States still on the power play for another minute and 15 seconds. Czechs will bring it out, shorthanded. Another shorthanded chance. They try and throw it across. Gabe had tried to set up Franjo. They had a two on one earlier on the same power play. Myers gets it in over the blue line and pulls it out and sets up. Myers down low. Shot by Long, save made by Chopik. He'll hold on, no rebound. 40 seconds to go in the U.S. power play. U.S. will change up the power play. Myers will stay out. Myers, Bergeron back to Myers. Bergeron, Myers. Brings it back to Grant. Grant holding it back at the red line. 24 seconds to go in the power play. Cataldo, Grant, shot, save made by Choppy. He sticks out the left hand and plucks it out of the air. Checks bring it out, 10 seconds to go in the man advantage. You get another two on one shorthanded. That was kicked towards goal. I don't think it would have counted. It went off the Czech player's foot. That'll do it, power play is over. States had a couple of chances, but so did the Czechs. Moravitz leaves it in the corner. Out in front, all alone, shot scores. Jakob Kral, nobody picked him up at all. He was alone in the slot, no chance at all for Fitzgerald. Well, the Czechs kill off the penalty and then add another one of their own. Here you see Jakob Kral, goal scorer. Cleared down into the U.S. end. Molina in looking for it. The Czechs do come up with it. Get it to Molina behind the goal. Molina trying to work out in front. Cuts between a couple of U.S. players and maintains possession. They'll drop it off. Get it back at the point. Fired shot well wide of the goal. Trying to get it out, trying to push it out over the red line. They do. Cichlet. On the right side, shot well wide of the goal by Klaus. Checks are on it. Into the middle, shot off a stick, went wide. Franjo. Flip pass, trying to get it out in front, comes right back to him behind the goal. Franjo, Franjo, watched by Seitz. Checks just cycling the ball, round and round it goes. Shimanek, back behind the goal, Franjo. Franjo. Haraba. Haraba. Great shift here by the Czechs, ball bouncing around and 
Fragno has it again. The ball just belongs to the Czech Republic right now and they're not allowing the United States to play with it at all. Back at the blue line, Haraba. Sorry, Herrera. Into the middle. Fragno all over the place. Fragno comes up with it, beat two US players to the ball. That shot, open net for Zajacek went off the defender. Finally, the States touch it. Taylor can't get it out. Zajacek. Checks force themselves back out. Yeba. Stefka. All over him, Sean Doughty. But the checks come away. A bit of open floor to work with. Three on one here. Stefka into the middle to try and give it back to Stefka. Empty net. You couldn't smell that one coming, folks. Check your sense of smell. No question the checks were going to add another one at some point, the way they were controlling the play. What a shift. For close to two minutes, the United States really didn't touch the ball. And you can see the tired legs of the U.S. players that time as once the Czechs got it, moved it up the floor, it suddenly became a three on one. U.S. players were trying to get back, but when the legs are tired, Collision over along the boards. The horse he fell into his man and the check go right back to work, right where they left off. That shot put wide by Moravitz. Again, they begin to cycle it. Crawl. That shot was blocked. U.S. move it out. Dumped in by Dowdy. Dowdy trying to get around his man. Goes to the corner. Dowdy going in there with Navapo. Checks come up with it, move it up ahead. Sikora, Sikora through the middle. Lost it on the pass. Try to get it up ahead to Dowdy. That was picked off by Crawl, and Crawl will bring it in over the blue line. Crawl dancing with it, shot. Save made by Fitzgerald. He'll hang on to it. Just under nine and a half to go. Seven to one. Czech Republic over the U.S. In front, ball is loose. States come up with it. Cataldo down the floor, too far. For Kolb will be a flooring call against the U.S. We're going to have a little break after this game as they had to the, uh, change the schedule a little bit because of a couple of teams that decided not to make the trip after the initial schedule had been completed. Shot scores! Jonas Cichlet. Eight to one now. And I was saying they had to uh, rejig the schedule a little bit and left a bit of a gap. Couldn't just condense it because teams needed a certain amount of time between games. Couldn't have teams playing back to back and some teams are playing two games today. So after this, our next game won't be until five o'clock Newfoundland time. Right now it is just afternoon, so expect this game to finish up before one o'clock and then it'll be about another four hours before we play again. And that will be USA Slovakia, the under 18 category. This is an under 20 game. 
So a different USA team. Another shot saved by Fitzgerald. Sopranio was alone in front. Kolb, reminiscent of the first goal. Here he comes in. This one he puts wide. Very similar to play to the goal that he scored in the first period. He picked up the loose ball and got in on a breakaway. Checks now controlling it in their own end. Long pass up ahead, that's taken on side. Franjo couldn't pull the trigger as the ball was just a little bit behind him. He couldn't drag it up to get a shot away. That pass was a little more out in front. A great one-time opportunity. Vanderlick lost it. Pavel Schloop back in his own end to pick it up. Fenderlich drops it back, Stefka right into the middle. Again, alone there was Prokep, elected to pass it. Kubik, Myers for the States, can't get it out. Kubik and Altman behind the goal. Kubik knocks it free. Vanderlich back to Kubik. Kubik back at the point. That got by Pavel Sloop. Kubik onside. Prokep. Sloop knocked off his stick. Stefka. Stefka. They go back to owning the ball again. Poked away. Samirski, with his few shifts, knocked it free but couldn't catch up to it. And you see the time. Six minutes, 12 seconds to go. Was picked off by Marchese of the United States, but the Czechs win it back and get it in over the blue line, heading for the front of the goal and tipping it just wide was Moravets. Moravets with it. Moravets. Back at the blue line. Ruppel. Shot goes in wide. Marchese, Marchese's knocked down. States won a penalty call, nothing forthcoming. Checks will bring it back in. Knocked away by Dowdy. Sikora. Dolezal. Kral. Tried to get it out in front for, for Bruba. Kral for Bruba. Long shot. That hit Marchese in front. The U.S. player goes in behind the U.S. goal. Bringing it out to Horsey. Up ahead was looking for Long. Fired back in by Cichlet. U.S. again, can't get it out. Knock to the boards. Molina. For Bruba. Long for the U.S. Knocked off his stick, can't get it out. Checks keep it in. To Horsey. All the way down the floor. It'll be a flooring call. U.S. needs to get some fresh legs out there. Trailing it 8-1. to one. Shots on goal, 35-14, favoring the Czech Republic. 
The dominating performance by the Czechs. Still early, we haven't seen them, of course, play Slovakia or Canada. Other teams that would certainly be contenders. But they have looked very good against this USA team. And there's a frustration penalty behind the goal line. Jared Bergeron. And a backhanded swipe to the Czech player. The referee looking right at him. He saw it from here as well. Got him right in the chin. Knocked him down and gonna go for roughing. Tomasz Zajacek, who was hit. Bergeron's gonna go. 3.37 to go, you see Bergeron over in the penalty box. Back down to the faceoff. Controlled by the Czechs, Stefka. Hard shot, right on goal, save made. Good blast by Kubik. Nice save by Fitzgerald. Over the blue line. Dowdy read that well, but can't get it out. Did everything he could. Stefka. Kubik. Stefka. Open net and fanned on it. You could see the goaltender had come out, overplayed to the far side, and Stefka had the whole open net. A great view of it from here, and just fanned on it. Stefka. Kubik, cross shot, save made by Fitzgerald. Ball is loose and cleared, but into the U.S. bench, so the faceoff will stay right there. John Dowdy arguing he had the stick knocked out of his hand. I wonder why there wasn't a slashing call. He's going to go back and discuss it a little more with the referee. Don't know if he liked the explanation he was given, but it doesn't really matter but it is, no call. 52 seconds to go in the penalty to Bergeron of the United States. Quick shot score again from behind the goal out in front to Mataj Fragno. And no chance for Fitzgerald. And completely uncovered there, able to take that pass cleanly and bang it home. Eight one. goes high in the air and up into the ceiling here at the glacier. The World Juniors alternate every year with the Men's and Women's Championship held the second year. Last World Juniors were held in Sheffield, England, 2016. The next 
men's and women's world championship be next year in Kochica, Slovakia. Shot saved by Fitzgerald. Kral got away a good shot with a minute 30 to go. Clock can't go fast enough in this one right now. Be a disappointing result for the United States. They have a very strong men's program in the U.S. Always a competitor, always a contender for the World Championships. This is not what they were hoping for to start the tournament today. It's a giveaway. One more chance for the Czechs. Can't get the shot away. Cleared out. Jake Taylor. Little dump and chase. Goes in there against Arara. Sano, haven't seen much of him in this game. He's got the ball now. Now that center, that did come out, but the Czechs gained the blue line. Long shot, well wide of the goal, but it came dangerously out in front. Klaus let that shot go from out at center. And it's Klaus back to get the ball now. 30 seconds left to play. Giveaway right behind the goal. Nates with a chance, couldn't find the ball in his feet. There's Jake Taylor, he had it handed to him. A bad giveaway. Now there's gonna be a penalty to the horsey as Joseph Shimunek tried to cut across the blue line. He took the cross check, got the hands up in the face. Checks have called a timeout. Two U.S. players have gone. I had it on the horsey, but also one of the other players has gone as well, Ryan McNamee. And both are being penalized on that play. Only saw the one right down along the blue line where the horsey got the hands up into the face of Shimunek. All academic at this point. And I think the Czechs probably call that timeout. The United States a little frustrated. We've seen a couple of plays now where they've taken some liberties. I think the Czech coaching staff want to talk to their players about staying away from that kind of confrontation. This thing is over. You got the power play. Let's try and finish it out. Trying to jump the face off. Couldn't time it right. Checks win it. Arba. Ruffle. From a sharp angle shot, doesn't get through. And finally the buzzer goes. And this one crawls to an end. 9-1. Great performance by the Czechs. Disappointed US squad, no doubt. So as I said, we are going to take a break due to a scheduling change that had to be made prior to the tournament. It's 12.30 here in Newfoundland and Labrador. Next game will be in four and a half hours. Five o'clock local time. The United States and Slovakia in the under 18. Again, this was an under 20 game we just finished watching. So a different US team, be their under 18 squad. That'll then be followed by Switzerland and Slovakia. Switzerland played, played, the United, played Canada earlier this morning. 
Lost that one six to two. Hang on, no, I'm looking at uh, looking at the wrong day. USA Slovakia at five. Then it'll be Italy and Canada in the U18. That'll be at seven o'clock. And we've got opening ceremonies at 8.45 and our final game of the evening, nine o'clock this evening, under 20, Canada and the USA. All right, four and a half hour break. We'll be back with our next game at that time. You're watching the 2018 ISBHF World Junior Ball Hockey Championships, St. John's, Canada. Player of the game being awarded to the United States, Gordy Kolb. Seeing how we mention that, we'll see who it is for the Czech Republic. <laughs> Number 13, Shimon Moravets. So Moravets and Cole, players of the game. All right, now we'll t take a break. We'll see you again at five o'clock. <laughs> 